When you develop for the Linux platform and need to test in different distros, create checkpoints and restore them without the proper tool, everything can rap rapidly become a mess. RAF. RAF has a great distro view. In one week view, you can see the available distros, install them, and make manipulations. You also, uh, in the snapshot screen, allows you backup, restore, and have them organized and handy. You have distro command, an expanding list of command and operation to perform on your installed distro. Now let's see RAF running. This is the main screen. You see all the distribution that are available in Microsoft Store. And let's install one of them. Let's install the default Ubuntu. We right click and click install. We install in the Microsoft Store application. You download it and we can launch it. It will install as usual. You create a user, your password, and we have our Ubuntu running in WSL2. You can see in the symbol that Raf shows that this is a WSL2 installation. You can change the default version to WSL1 to install a WSL1 applique, uh, distribution. Let's try with Ubuntu 18. Let's install it in WSL1. The same procedure, the same for WSL1 or 2. OK, you can see the symbol is different. It denotes WSL1. Now let's update our Ubuntu. We can click Update Command, and it will run the update procedure. You can use it with every distribution in RAF. Now let's imagine that we want to switch from WSL1 to WSL2. We can switch it. and. Before we can tell RAF to make a backup in case of something goes wrong. We specify the name, WSL1, and it will create the backup and then make the switch. You can see now the two distributions are in WSL1, 2. And uh, let's check it, checking the kernel version. In WSL1, the kernel is 4.4. .4. So this is WSL2. Now, let's see the snapshot screen. You can see the date, the name, and also where in the file system is stored your backup. So uh, let's restore it. Remember that we have chosen WSL1 as the default, so it will import in WSL1. So you can see we have the WSL1. Let's try something with the uh, Windows Terminal. You can see the icons are not looking good. Let's tell uh, RAF to fix the things. It will synchronize the distributions with Windows Terminal and also run it when you double click the distribution. So let's double click Ubuntu. It will open Windows Terminal. You see the icon changes. And also, we are in the Linux home instead of the Windows one. And if you see in the menu, we have the icons and the names properly set up. 
One thing that is critical when you integrate with other tools is which distribution will be called when you issue the WSL command. For example, this command will run in the default distribution. You can see that this cat will show Ubuntu 20. Okay? Now, let's tell Raf to change it. You can see that this is automatically applied. So you can do it while, how many times that you need. And that's it for Raf. The roadmap. Custom distributions. Create custom distribution from a snapshot. Duplicate distributions. Import any tar file as a distribution. Create launchers in a star menu. Move distros to another place, for example, another drive. Specify where to install the distros when you double click in launch. Improvements. Create incremental backups or checkpoints for each distribution. A revamped snapshot screen with more options. Uh, you can uh, open the file system of the distribution in Windows Explorer. Add custom commands to the distro right click menu and launch the distros directly from the taskbar. UI applications. Show UI applications icons in RAF for all the distribution installed. Create launcher for apps in the star menu. Auto configure X server. Auto configure high DPI. And lastly, Penguin setup. Bring the best of Penguin setup to your distro. We will bring systemd services, UI configuration, home backup, and terminal. 